it's like no i'm so into it um, in <laughs> 80s like 80s pop culture in general that's like the i'm that age I mean, like, G.I. Joe's, the Thundercats. Transformers. Freaking, the Goonies. <laughs> yeah, like, all that. Cindy Lopper. All that shit sh- shamed <laughs> me. I think in, the, like, the street art graffiti world, you meet different subcategories of people. I feel like I tend to get along more with people who are artists, not just vandals, even though people would say I'm a vandal. Many years ago, I used to paint with ice and snow. It's weird how that led into doing eventually scam. If you put it out there for free, it takes on its own personality. I feel it's like, not my personality anymore. I feel like the times when I've been in a gallery setting, it's like I'm not really selling the art, I'm selling myself. And when I'm doing it on the streets, putting it out there, I'm doing it for myself. I enjoy making the process of it, illustrating, designing it, printing it out, cutting it out, whatever I need to do and going out in the middle of the night and gluing it onto something. So what I was thinking about doing is um, cutting the paper first, spraying the blue layer. This is basically the second layer kind of eyeball it. I'll start with this side first. I hate drawing like painting stars. So I just paint it all blue when I'm like painting them by hand. So I don't want to do the stars, but I get more detail with the stencil because it's just easy. I can replicate it very quickly and it looks perfect. I think it's obvious if you pay attention to the politics that there was rigging going on in the DNC and a bunch of political corruption. Now we're stuck with Hillary Clinton uh, and Trump. <laughs> get the screen wet a little bit. Uh, tonight we're gonna go to a spot that uh, was a Thai restaurant caught on fire and it burnt the other building and they made an artificial wall. I mean, we just gotta go through the fence. We're gonna work together as a team since this, there's a lot of cars I drive by here. Uh, you know, and there's a lot of cops in this area, so.
Yeah, they still have our stuff over there. Come on. These are eggshell stickers. Uh, they don't come off. at like a Home Depot. You know, all it is is extender pole, like a paint cider. And it's got like a, I don't know, a brush on it. You just take masking tape and tape it all around. So it has like a little bit of give. And I'll show you how you put it up. street art I save all my backings in my pocket I don't throw them on the ground I don't know if he told you about like what he does or you're familiar with what he does at all he does these parody Trump posters and people think they're real but they're not like he's got one with Trump on Rambo's body and this is it's time to man up <laughs> Some guy dissed me and he wrote toy over my piece because I accidentally covered one of his pieces. And we squashed the beef so now I'm just redeeming my piece. Allure to graffiti, just like everything else that I like really deeply love in my life, it's just the constant progression just keeps me coming back.